If you prick us, do we not bleed? Don't tempt these people, Mr. McCoy. Please get to the point. Good morning. Welcome everyone to the first episode of the Saturday Morning Show. I'm your host, Spank McCoy. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm your host, Mr. Saturday. Good morning. And today we're well. Before I get into it, this isn't actually our first episode. Um, do me a favor, shit. Run archive. Open TSM Alpha. You're gonna be check this out. This isn't yo. Hasbro has really been doing their things with these molds, these figure choices. 2017 is definitely a standout year for Marvel Legends. I would have never thought in a million years that we'd get an A-Force pack. But hey, these are dope. Yeah. Very interesting, yes. That was that was awful to watch for me too. So listen, the biggest takeaway that we can all take from that awful clip is always try again. You can always do better. And the crazy thing about all of this, this this isn't even my final form. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode, we're going to talk about Marvel Legends Uncanny X-Men Beast. But first, this week was a big week and this week we had a lot of releases for Hasbro. Um, first off, let's talk about those Deadpool figures. The Deadpool movie figures, oh my god. The hype level is crazy. Um, the Domino, how dope is she, right? And those guns, bro. Those guns, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an accessories guy. And these are, so far, these guns look, I love them Uzis, man. And she comes with the, the Black Widow pistols. So, she's dope. That movie, that movie Deadpool. How clean is that? Ugh, so clean. And it comes with a cute little unicorn? Who's hyped? I'm hyped on this one. The only thing that it's missing is a gorgeous Ryan Reynolds head sculpt. <laughs> and Negasonic Teenage, what's it? Negasonic w Warhead Teenage, <laughs> Teenage Megasonic Warhead. <laughs> that name's a mouthful. Excited about her. I love the head scope on her. Old Man Logan, Old Man Hawkeye. Both exquisite stories. Definitely, I recommend you, you guys pick those up. And it's going to have the pinless technology. And at first, I didn't know what the pinless technology was. And then I looked at the... You're not going to see the, the, the pegs, the little holes in it. It looks clean. Um, that Nimrod... Phantom X and Psylocke three pack. I'm all for redoing some of those first new Marvel Legends. A lot of those are trash, especially the female figures. They can do all of them. I love this three pack. I was able to um, get it on Amazon. Props to Amazon. They never fail me when it comes to pre orders. Never. That Phantom X, it looks like he has some kind of new retooled guns because it has the little smoke effect on it coming out of there um it has a whole new body i appreciate it and he comes with the little the little gunshots 
in the Storm and Thunderbird 2-pack. One, I didn't know that it was released this week. Um, apparently, it got sold out in seconds because it was a Target exclusive, which are the worst. They're the goddamn worst. I don't know what would... We got to do something about that. I love, this is the storm I want. This is the storm I've been wanting for years. And it had to be a Target exclusive, which just is a pain in the ass. So great, the scalpers won because it was sold out in 30 seconds. I'm gonna buy it on the secondhand market because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait around. That's the type of person I am. And I want these two figures. She comes with the two head sculpts, the hands, I think one of the hands, the fists, I love that. The um, Warpath, I dig it. All we, hey, we're getting closer to a, to an X Force Warpath, cause this is we had one for the, the the Deadpool wave coming out, and then we got this one. What the net? What's next? The next best thing would be an X Force Warpath, Marvel Legends Logan two pack. I usually skip the um, I skip some of the movie figures. I skipped the X-Men figures. I'm, I'm not really hyped about picking those up, but I'm thinking about picking this set up, not only because it's, you know, Logan is one of my favorite comic book movies, but who doesn't need another guy in a suit? If you, you know what I'm saying? If, all right, you don't want him to be Logan, put another head on him. That's just, that's a suitless body. You know what I mean? Not a suitless body. That's a extra body for a civilian or something. In a wheelchair, who can't use a wheelchair? In a movie, a movie Professor X, <laughs> is he wearing a hoodie? It looks like he's wearing a hoodie on that. And Logan's yelling. <laughs> this is this is awesome, man. We need this. Yeah, Patrick Stewart in a ho in a hoodie. Who? What? Where's the where's the issue? A beat up Logan. HIV Logan. <laughs> That's what we'll call him. <laughs> oh, that Hellfire Club pack. How about that? How about that Hellfire? How about that? I'm, I mess with the Hellfire Club. I, I, I love I love them. I, I, that's um, that was one of the first comic books I remember reading as a kid because I found this set of X Men comics and the Hellfire Club story was one of them. Now we need the now we need those goons. We need those Hellfire goons. You know exactly which ones I'm talking about. The ones with the we need those ASAP. Two pack them. Whatever. Don't play. Do like you did the um, the Hydra guys. Put them like that. Do them just like that. Look at these. Look at these guys. Sebastian Saw. I I feel like we're gonna get another one, a shirtless one. Oh, the White Queen. We wanted her in the lingerie, didn't we? This is the one we wanted. I actually use this head for my um, because the other one came with two heads. I use this head for my Sue Storm, but it looks like the the paint app and the makeup is different, so I might be able to get it off. But that's what we want. Yes, the Black Queen. This is this is dope. This is really dope. And, but I'm I'm really I'm hyped about this pack. I love the the box art on it. We want this. We're ready for this. Man. Impressive. And in GI Joe news, um, we got a new roadblock. <laughs> yeah, that's how he looks to me too. We got the new roadblock and a new bareness. However, another Target exclusive that they failed. They failed again. That shit got sold out in like 30 minutes, dude, or th in seconds or something like that. That's unacceptable, man. That is unacceptable. The Baroness, you guys, you don't know, or if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know I've been wanting this figure. I've been wanting, that's who I want, the Baroness. And I'm sure it's gonna be a re-release. They're probably gonna give her another costume, but I shouldn't have that. Come on, seriously? Seriously? I'm disappointed in that. She looks good, though. God, she looks good. Well, anyway, and Beachhead. But um, that's news. That's the releases. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. All right? What else do we have to do? Oh, yeah. Let's get to Beast. So here we are, our review. Um, 
it's kind of poetic that we're starting with Beast as our first one because the original Toy Biz Beast was my first Marvel Legend. So I kind of dig this one. I, I dig the poeticness of it. <laughs> anyway, the Uncanny X-Men, Marvel's Beast. Brunt of the box art. I'm not sure what, usually I can tell what artist drew it. I can't tell who drew this one. You see this, boom, okay. Marvel's Beast. It's the back of the card. Looks like George Clooney on there. Beast includes uh, extra head scope, another set of hands, includes a book, and a set of very losable glasses. Standing straight up, Beast stands just under seven inches. He scales well with the rest of the collection. Okay, it's articulation time. Beast has horizontal and vertical neck joint. Perfect for those crouching iconic beast poses. He has um, a, I guess we could call it a shoulder back butterfly joint to get those arms straight back there. Rotating bicep. He has the double elbow. If you can see that. In addition, he has wrist hinge and rotating articulation. He has mid-abdomen rotating and lower abdomen, abdomen back and forward articulation. Yeah. Groin, we'll call this groin ball articulation. He has a thigh articulation right here. Double knee. Yes, double knee. Ankle, swivel, hinge, rocker articulation. In addition, he has tarsal, metatarsal articulation. <laughs> his foot, he can <laughs> articulate his foot. Look at the big words on that guy. <laughs> Did I say it right? Is it? Yeah, tarsal metatarsal. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's the articulation of Beast. I think what makes this Beast such a great figure is the articulation. It gives you the opportunity to put him in those iconic poses that you always see him in. I was gonna pass on this Gray Beast but he had a book and glasses. That's what, believe it or not, that's what sold me on him. Um, I picked him up. I think he's, I, overall, Beast is an A1 figure. He's an A1 figure. I would say, if I had to give him a number grade from 1 to 10, I'd give him an 8. My only issues were those glasses. They don't stay on, and you're going to lose them. I'm going to lose them. <laughs> And it did, he didn't come with those another fist. Why don't they give him two fists? That's a, very frustrating to me. But other than that, A1 figure. Definitely a great addition to anyone's collection. And there you have it. Your first Saturday morning experience. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed doing it. Um, we ran a little long today because of the news. But I'd be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't report it. Nevertheless, if you did like it, share it and subscribe. Also, if you're on IG, I take photos of action figures. You can check me out at Saturday mornings. That's with a Z. Saturday 
underscore mornings. Uh, don't be a stranger in the comment section. I am very active. So give, tell me what you think. This is like a the reloaded version. Let me know what you think. I'm, you know, I'm not above criticism. I appreciate it. You know, give me props or let me know what I could probably do better. It's it, whatever or not, whatever. Until next Saturday.